guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of seeing this beautiful face then i thank you so much and i hope that you shall subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber i love you so much guys first of all let's talk about my voice see how it's low i don't know how it's coming across but a baby's sick and i actually did not want to sit at home all day lazing about and just lying on the bed so i was like okay um let me just a film a few videos um yeah if this is your first time on my channel then i hope that this video convinces you to subscribe it's your girl there's always fun on this channel i promise you and when you scroll down there are a lot of videos that you should watch hmm guys so today's video is a little 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 bit different from everything that i do on my channel we are going to be talking about things that i wish i knew before i traveled to nigeria in case you do not know i am a nigerian who study and lives in germany my name is amara i am sorry i did not introduce myself so my name is amara chuku ozo and i study and live in germany on the 11th of june 2021 as in this year i traveled back to nigeria after five years in germany and oh boy oh boy were the things i wish that someone had told me before i traveled so i am here to give you all the tips and all the tricks so you do not make any mistake that i made so if you're interested in what i have to say then keep on watching the number one thing that i will say today is you know we are in a pandemic yeah we are in the corona season and with that comes a lot of rules and regulations especially when it comes to traveling corona has made traveling a very very big thing right now like there are so many rules you have to follow for you to travel today so the first thing that i will say is that you want to check the websites of the country now let's let's not even say nigeria like if you're traveling in general you should always be updated on what's happening in that country check their website check their immigration website if they have one just check even the airline you're going to travel with what do they require now for nigeria um, a negative corona test is required the PCR1 for me living in Germany it means that I had to go get that done at the airport you could get such tests done at any center but then your results will be in German language but because you are traveling to a country that does not speak German you need it in English so you have to do it at the airport I don't know how it's like in your own country but I'm just saying here in Germany you can get this test anywhere done as far as the report is written in English so that was the first thing that I did now still on the requirements for immigration or for tourism whatever the case may be you will want to check if as someone who is already vaccinated that is if you are vaccinated if you are still allowed to enter in this country you have and also <laughs> the type of vaccination that you do because not every vaccination um i've been allowed i had a problem with that because i did the cross vaccination i took the astrazeneca for my first vaccine and then the second time i took the biontech and that was a little bit of a problem at the embassy because they just couldn't understand why i was getting or why i got two different vaccinations but after i explained everything to them and i think after like literally 30 minutes of the um airport guy wasting my time he then let me through it wasn't funny so i think you have to make all this requirement check which country are on green red and yellow now the current requirement in nigeria is a negative corona test on your arrival and also you have to pay online fill a form online for you to take a test after two weeks so basically you're supposed to be in quarantine for two weeks i did like this because i did not do it so so you're supposed to pay this certain amount of money which ranges from forty six thousand to fifty thousand naira so you actually pay it online or you could you know choose to pay it at the center i kind of already knew that i wasn't going to do that test so i opted for paying it at the center and not paying it online so this is what i mean yeah so i don't want to confuse you guys now they require a negative corona test on your arrival even at the airport before you even board you know because all these airlines they work according to the requirements of your destination country so they require your negative corona test they require that you fill this form already picking out an appointment where you will go for your second test 
that's normally after two weeks and then a negative corona test while going back you got but then it all works on the requirements of the country we are going back to for me i was going back to germany so i didn't need a, a negative corona test because i was already vaccinated now the second issue we are going to talk about today is changing money you know in germany we use euro but then in nigeria we use naira which one euro as at that time was close to 600 naira it was a lot it was a lot i promise you but what i did was that i changed like half of the money that i was going to travel with because i was like i don't want to travel with a bulk of money i don't know what might happen on the way you grab so what i did was i changed half of the money that i was traveling with and then i traveled with half of the money you grab me now what i wish that i had done was changing everything I wish that I had changed everything because on the day that I wanted to go change, you know, the remaining money, the exchange rate dropped and then the, you know, all this apoki uh, or malam, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. They were kind of giving me a hard time changing this money because they're like, uh, your money is not, because I think on that day I had like, I had, you know, in the money that I was going to change, I didn't have like a 50 euros note. I had like two, 220 and then 110 and for them that is a huge problem like they want it as a note and not that you begin to split it and that kind of made the exchange rate drop I was like boy it's not the same money but they are mm -mm. so I would advise that you change your money that is if you're okay with it or you can change your money and then Put in an account with someone you trust, yeah? So it saves you from, you know, losing money and maybe just getting your money stolen and yada yada and you having to worry that, oh, this bag, I have to carry 247 because there's something in there. I've had cases of people losing their bags, okay? And I don't think you want that to happen to you. So I think that changing money before you travel is quite, quite helpful. Hmm? okay so number three that i would say today is nigeria is expensive <laughs> nigeria is quite expensive like you know when i was traveling i was like okay i have this amount of euro this is my budget and i'm gonna go paint the town red the joke was of me because i came back to nigeria let me tell you guys the first one that i changed at the airports was like 50 euros and that was summing up to 30,000 or 30 something thousand I cannot remember and I was like okay um yeah I have some money and you know we'll go out because if you watched my Nigerian vlogs you would know that I spent a few hours in Lagos before actually going back to my hometown which is Enugu so I was like okay this 30,000 we're gonna do share we're gonna mm -hmm, the money finished <laughs> that one finished before I left Lagos that day. I am telling you, Nigeria is so expensive. How do people survive? I cannot believe it. Like, you think when you change your money, it's something. It's nothing. It's nothing because the moment you step out of your house, the money is gone. Except, you don't. even if you don't go out, people will find you and come. <laughs> people will find you and come. And that money... So any budget you're making for traveling to Nigeria, my sister, my brother, double it. <laughs> double what? Double it. Because that country is expensive. There's one that shook me. Um, we wanted to buy antiseptic for showering and then household chores for the water. I saw that normal ditto, not like the small ditto size, yeah? was now around 3k chai do you know the most annoying part you'd be like yeah you just came back you have money you know you'd be flaunting flexing i give you one week one week my brother you will carry calculator and have sense so nigeria is quite expensive which is sad because i really don't know how the people they're kind of you know how they survive 
because for me i'm like okay i live abroad and i know that i can afford most of these things but what about the common person what about that teacher who earns just fifty thousand in a month it's it's sad chai it's the next topic that I would say here is very hot because what Nigeria is a hot country. Now let me give you an advice. Before you leave the country you are in to enter Nigeria, buy all these small rechargeable hand fans. Just buy it. If you watched my Nigerian vlog, you must have seen that I was with hand fan every day. Every day. And honestly, the thing with these rechargeable things is that you buy them and they don't even last. I think in my duration of staying in Nigeria, I bought like two rechargeable hand fans and they did not last. They just spoiled within two days. I got upset. I was like, I'm not going to buy again and they don't come cheap. The ones I bought in Nigeria were close to 3k, you get So it's not as if they were even cheap, you know? So, but I'm telling you now because immediately you leave that your Bodoibo, you're still on the L, but immediately you land Lagos or Abuja, anywhere you're landing, yeah, you start feeling the heat. God, guys, I died at the airport. I was almost dead. It was too crowded, no ventilation, especially at the um, luggage claim, you know? It was so hot. I, 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 I felt as if I was gonna get sick because I didn't have any fan, nothing to just fan myself. I felt that I was going to collapse and then the entire stay in Nigeria, I did not have a single makeup on. It was too hot. Like makeup was not even my concern. My concern was that let's breeze and air be entry because all the clothes that I went back to Nigeria with, I did not even wear them. I found myself always repeating my clothes that I felt to be a very breathable and quite skimpy because no one has the time to come and be wearing ceremonial dresses and it even made me I didn't go to a lot of places because I was quite irritated I needed AC 247 that country is hot going on holiday it is always advised to make a plan or like an itinerary so the days don't just go by you know go with the flow and everything and I would advise that you do that because I didn't do that or or no quite the contrary I had a plan but I never stuck to it like it didn't work out <laughs> it didn't work out because I thought that you know I'm used to being on my own I'm used to doing things on my own pace my own time I'm like okay I'm the only one involved in this I can coordinate it but it didn't just walk out like that in Nigeria I couldn't stick to my plans like I had places that I wanted to visit I had videos that I wanted to make I had errands that I wanted to run but none of them we are working I don't know the time was just off and I was kind of just living in the moment do not do that because now, now when I came back to Germany, I kind of started regretting or few days before my departure time, I started regretting. I'm like, these three weeks just flew by and the time just goes by where you're there and enjoy, you don't even know. I'm like, I had a lot of things planned. I went back to my journal and I was like, I had a lot of things actually planned for this trip and I wasn't taking a lot i was like what's happening please 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 make a plan and make sure to stick to it if not your holiday is just going to you know you just be moving with the vibes moving with the vibes and it will just go by don't do that please because i am regretting now now i know better the next time i visit nigeria or even travel anywhere i will have my plans in place and try my best to follow it because the thing there in nigeria is that you go home and nigeria is such a fun country such a fun country you have your cousins your family members you know everyone is coming it's kind of hard to follow a plan or stick to a plan when there are a lot of people who want to see you or you're even happy to see all these people you're not just the only one you know and then getting around just it's it's hard it's hard i am telling you hmm this will be the highest one like no one ever told me this no one your parents your whole family will be your greatest annoyance i wish someone told me this guys do you know when i was in nigeria yeah 
my parents don't let me stay out once it's five o'clock once it's five o'clock a minute once it's a minute past five my phone is already buzzing where are you i'm like oh give me kilo day happen you know what i mean my it got to an extent i was like i'm going to leave this house for you people <laughs> what is it like your parents will want to be like guide you police you we all know that they want to protect you we all know that they are doing this for your own good because man the country is not safe but again i came back here to have fun you know i did not cross seven seas and seven rivers for someone to tell me to come and sit my ass down five o'clock i wish i knew this part then i would be better prepared and you don't even want to start fighting with them because if you do, your parents will now start the emotional blackmail. My mother especially, if you're watching this video. Thank you, mommy, Dal, for what you did to me. <laughs> Honestly, like, she made me, I didn't enjoy Nigeria to the fullest, like the way that I wanted to, because then made sure that I was always at home. <laughs> I was always at home. If I wasn't at home, she knew where I was and I had a curfew. What is that? I am 25 years old. I live alone in Germany. My brother was literally my bodyguard. If you watch my videos, you would see that he was with me everywhere. Like literally everywhere I went to, my brother was there. My brother was there. So I am telling you now for you to be prepared. If you have family members in Nigeria, or if you have parents and you know that you're going to be staying in the house, just be prepared. Your life is over. Just know that one. I'm telling you now. You come back and say, I'm going say this. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so that's it. That's all I have to say. And yeah, these are just my own experience. And if you have any other thing you think that I miss, then you're free to put it in the comment section. I shall see you next time, guys. I hope you subscribed. And please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share this video. You know, you know, you know, these are just my experiences when I went to Nigeria. Some of the things that I experienced. Um, yeah, I shall see you in my next video. As always, it's your baby girl, Amara. I love you. Bye. Have a nice week. Today's on a Tuesday. Bye.